Now, I know a lot of you must be thinking, Jake, 27, you work in the music industry, you have a couple of small side business project kind of things going on. Of all the things you've decided to do, with your time, you you decide to, to start a Lego YouTube channel. Put it quite simply, the reason why is I love Lego. I, I just do. I love Lego. I love Lego so much. I think Lego is possibly one of the best inventions ever. I wouldn't go, like, ever, maybe. I think the wheel's pretty good. And then there was that one guy who invented the see-through toaster. So, Lego's up there in the top ten, at least. Maybe three for me? Number three? <laughs> First, the wheel. Second, the, <laughs> the, the see-through toaster. Third, Lego. <laughs> Wow. I have always loved Lego, and quite honestly, I hope I always will. Now, it all obviously started at a very early age. I'm a kid of the 90s. I got Lego for, like, birthdays and as, like, rewards for being of my best behaviour over X amount of time or things like that. But for me, the set that, that captured the imagination of little old Jake had to be Bionicle. I don't know exactly what it was about Bionicle. Bionicle is just, to me, was the one that... Ooh! I just couldn't get enough. It was like crack. I, it was like crack for little Jake. I was rubbing my face in it and everything. I wasn't... Lego is hard. I mean, I could probably make like a whole video on Bionicle, and I probably will. I have all of my old Bionicles still. They're currently dismantled in a shoebox. I want to sit there and I want to rebuild them maybe one day. Who knows? Maybe we'll do some of them on a live stream. Still got all the instructions. Still got all the instructions down here. So many sets. So many memories. But what I think it came down to ultimately is what the bricks made. And there were these really cool, like, up to 30 centimeter high models that could bend and pose that you could they would roll up into balls they're all alien warriors who each had their own like element and then there was a counterpart bad guy for them as well even down to little things like on the ones that would roll up into balls the the kind of the main bad guys they were like the main bad guys for a while they would roll up into balls uh, but when they're open, there was like a little lever you could press, and then X, they would like do that, and it looked like they're like hissing. It looked really cool. <laughs> it was, it blew my mind as a child that Lego could do that. I was just like, oh, what? No. And then as well, there was like the first movie and the backstories they all had, and oh, I, I'm getting. Getting ahead of myself, I should make a whole video on this, I'm going off on a tangent. But what I love now about Lego is is just the building. I'm not a super hardcore collector or anything like that. Obviously, like I collect some parts of Lego, but I just love building with it. Sitting down with a cup of coffee, putting on some music, maybe even a background TV show, something I've watched loads of times like Community and just building whether that's a new set or like an old set or whether it's just like completely and utter freeballing it and just slapping bricks together and seeing what turns up for example the other week i built this it looks probably like nothing on camera I don't know. If I bring it forward, it's just going to be like super out of focus. <laughs> I'll put a, I'll put a picture up. It's easier, you know. So like, it's a little spaceship, and uh, I built it because each week uh, I have a group chat with my friends over Google Meets, and we've decided over lockdown that we'll be doing like a theme each week. And a couple of weeks ago, the theme was miniature. So I built myself a miniature spaceship. 
on the sides it has like these cool little turrety bits to defend itself and then it has like these green bits here that are like the engines and then we've got like a tractor beam that not only looks really cool because it's built out of these translucent parts but like it helps it stand um, and then these blue bits on the end which just make it look cool more than anything they don't have a purpose or function they just they're just there I don't know I like I, I, I just thought it looked cool so I put it on that's why don't need an answer because I was just freeballing it and that's the point I was having fun just just building this little thing because I can. So LEGO to me isn't about the collecting. It isn't about the rareness of the sets or the price of a minifigure or how many minifigures you get in a box or how many even bricks there are in a box to a set. LEGO to me is more about the fundamentals. It's about play. It's about using your imagination. It's about building and even at 27, I, I still love Lego. I do. I am really interested, though, genuinely, on what you guys like about Lego. If you do like Lego, if you don't like... Well, I don't know why you're watching this video if you don't like Lego. But, like, why do you like Lego? Uh, tell me in a comment. Tweet at me. Post something to me on Instagram, reach out to me, and, and if you if you enjoyed this video, I suppose, uh, hit subscribe, ring the bell, hit that like. I've got a really cool video, I think, coming out soon, so I hope you guys enjoy that one too. It's going to be um, an interesting video. Not like, not like the last one, a lot more a lot more fun.